Yo, yo, what is up, YouTube? Guess what? It's time for a room tour. There's a hurricane breezing by, and I'm off work today. Can't go to the comic book store. Can't go to Starbucks. So I figured, what the hell? I'll make a, a room tour. A um, little detailed room tour. Um, just saw Journos Comics. Amazing room tour. Go check that out. There's a bunch of good room tours on, on, on YouTube. Um, but some of them, man, you really got to search for. It's weird that, you know, even like comic haul videos or anything like, like movie, re you know, as I collect movies too. So anything like movie related, comic book related, it's like the same channels over and over again. If you type in like comic book haul and it's like the same four or five uh, comic book channels that pop up and there's so many smaller channels out there or medium-sized channels out there that have comic book hauls but you really gotta I mean you really gotta dig deep to find them it's weird like you know there, there'll be like 10 comic book haul videos in a row from you know the same three or four people and then it just recycles the same videos same thing with room tours um, I love room tours I love seeing how people decorate their rooms how they uh, organize their comics, but it's really hard to find them, and, and I don't know, I just find it very odd and very weird um, that, you know, there's, you know, you really got to search for content when you're just trying to have a good day and just kind of like, you know, watch combo call videos. But anyways, enough of that, but uh, yeah, I hit 43,000, oh god, I can't remember what it is, uh, let's, 40, I think it's 43,431 comics. Uh, last night, I got a long box of comics over the weekend from the flea market, and I added them in last night, and I am, I'm, I'm almost, I'm halfway to 44,000 comics. So what you're seeing here, there is a long box downstairs that is not in this video. Um, what I do is once I, once I scan in my CLZ app, I kind of organize them, you know, like put the X-Men titles together, the DC titles. So now I'm working on that. So that box is not up here. So, but yeah, this is, you know, as you walk in my door, you know, I got two posters here. Quick story on those. I bought them on eBay and uh, they claim they were Greg Horn autograph prints, you know, you get from the cons and they're fucking paper. Or paper prints like they printed off the computer I was f so mad anyways I got my money back and I figured what the hell I'll just hang on my door just to let people know hey this is a comic book room um, I do have blackout curtains up in the back I love blackout curtains we are fixing to hang them throughout the house but uh, yeah we like it nice and dark but uh, as you walk in um, right here to my right is uh, my fan and just books upon books um, this is mainly X-Men related titles here as you can tell by the boxes usually the box if it's a if it's a um, art design box whatever is on the box generally has a related title to it so you see House of X powers of X boxes those are going to be holding X-Men related titles it may not just be House of X or powers of X but they are X-Men related titles. Um, but when I did organize my reorganize my room, I got it all mixed up and I need to go back and fix it. But I did at one time, and if you watch some of my older videos, I did have it all organized by, I had all my X-Men titles together and I think they took up this whole entire wall. Um, sort of like how these are here, but they were all my X-Men titles. And then I had all my DC books together and then I had all my independent books together. And then I had all my Marvel books together but just get a quick scan I mean we got limited to uh, 999 copies Batman Eternal 19 German edition got that in a few weeks ago I got a few pops I got some artwork I've got um, original artwork from some of my YouTube friends hanging up on the wall um, I do have some more that I have to find frames for or find room to hang them but over here, I have some movie posters. Like I said, I collect movies too. I have almost, we have almost 8,000 movies. So we like horror action, and my wife likes, you know, the rom com. So we got Bad Moon, Spider Man, and Hellboy over here. Um, this right here is a model 
that my dad made me when Star Wars first came out. Um, and this thing's, you know, I'll be 52 here in a few weeks, uh, about two weeks. And this thing is probably 40, 42, 43 years old, and I still have it. Um, my dad passed when I was 16, so I try to keep that. Um, those are some new comic day books down there. Uh, more dollar bin books from the uh, comic shop. Just all kinds of stuff, guys. I've got uh, an homage to The Exorcist, uh, my favorite horror movie. I thought that's cool, so I put that up. I've got a few copies of that. Whenever I see that book, I buy it. I generally don't see it that much out in the wild. I did find this one at the flea market. Um, <clears throat> but um, generally, if I find them, I try to buy them. If I have like a favorite book, I'll buy like multiple copies of. <clears throat> um, here's some more prints from the cons over the years um, that they're all they're all autographed by their respective artists. Um, I got some Captain America figures next to my Starenko Captain America um, print that is uh, you know it's specialized to me. Um, two of two Donald keep America safe. Uh, I wish I had the power to do that right now because our country's in shit. Uh, Anyways, more prints. I love prints. Um, and just Star Wars toys. Just comics upon comics. There's a um, Millennium Falcon from the 80s. I got that. I got loose books. My wife's a big Buffy fan, so I buy her Buffy comics whenever I can find them. And I have my comics 2x2. Two two. So I have them 2 forward. As you can see down there, and then two side by side, two forward, two side by side, two forward, and it's, you know this way you can stack them. And what is that? One, two, three, four, five. You can stack them. I would say about six high is about the, the limit I would go on stacking them like that. But uh, over here are my comic book drawers. Um, there's the original from the uh, from the comic book drawer company, and they're nice. You can pull them out, look at your books. Um, but these here, the top two rows here, I made myself. And I do have videos on my YouTube channel. Um, check them out. How to make your own from BCW products. Uh, it's the, the outer shell and the inner box. And basically all you do, all I did is uh, cut some holes. I put two, two holes in the front and two holes in the back. And I got some zip ties. And I zip tied the boxes together. It's... Go watch the video. And at the time, you know, you could, you know, these here cost, I don't know, they were expensive as shit. I think five of them were like a hundred and some odd dollars and then like forty dollars a ship. They were expensive. So I was trying to find a way to do it inexpensively, you know, to help us collectors out. Um, so what I did is, and, and you know, these were, these were cheap. You could get, a, I think, ten of them for like forty dollars at the time. I'm sure now they're way more expensive. I'm talking maybe eight seven eight years ago is when i made these and then you just use your bcw box and just shove them into the and they work just as well so there's that um another thing uh that i that i like to use on my boxes here are um these little little uh sleeves they're for index cards and they have a sticky on the back side so that's how it looks so it's got like a little pocket and you can buy different size pockets for and these are on e amazon they're on ebay i'm sure you can find them at like a s art store or whatever but it's just a sticky side they're clear and they have a little pocket so you can see a little pocket so what i've done is is you can use index cards to fill out um whatever's in your in your in your box in your short box your long box whatever and what i did is i put a little piece of tape on the top and I, I attached it to the front, folded it over, and attached it to the back. This way it made like a little pull tab. And it's not sticky on top. It's, you know, whatever. And it makes it easy because one, because the pocket's real tight. So once these get in here and they get below the pocket, you know, the pocket lining there, it's, it was hard to get them out. So I had to figure out a way. How can I get these out? Because these are great. You know, your boxes never stay what is on if I like I've seen people used to write you know they write on their box like Daredevil. Well if your Daredevil collection grows and you need a bigger box or they go to it, you know, whatever, 
and you want to, or you got rid of all your, let's say you sold all your daredevils. Now you have to use a marker to scratch that out. Um, but this way here, you just get an index card, and you can switch it. You can scratch it out like I did here, or you just get a whole new index card, fill it out. That way you're not really damaging the box. And the little pull tab helps you pull it right out. So that's something that I kind of... I've, I've seen somebody on YouTube a long time ago have a similar system to this. Um, I'm talking like before I even started my YouTube channel. I'm going on 10 years. Um, they had something similar. I just kind of, you know, I kind of made it mine. Sorry about my voice, guys. I'm still... It's weird. It's been a few weeks, and I'm still trying to get over COVID, man. It's really kicked my ass. Um, but yeah, that is... I mean, if you're looking for a way to do... I mean, because you look at your boxes... Look at my boxes. How uniform it looks. How neat it looks. You know, before this, I had post-its. And I would put post-its on here. Well, you know how post-its are. They're sticky on the very top. And then, you know, the paper starts to curl. And then it doesn't... I don't know. It To me, it doesn't look right. And, and, I, and I, like my, I like it to look neat and kind of organized. So I love these little stickies, man. They're just great. And I have them on all my boxes. Um... Even if I haven't put on there what it is yet, I still just put a card with a with a tab on it. See, I got Thor, Unworthy Thor, Moon Knight in there, Red Hulk, Immortal Hulk, Avengers Volume 1. But see, these all change because I've bought a lot of Avengers over time. And I haven't moved them into my normal collection. And I'll explain that to you in a minute. But down there is an AT-AT. Um, but just, I have books everywhere guys and like i said here's my ghost rider boxes and these boxes literally have ghost rider comics that's got my venom comics in it those i got two walking dead boxes down there they have the walking dead comics in it um over here is a picture of me and my beautiful wife at uh her grandmother's i think it was 80th birthday party so they did like a 60s or 50s themed like dance party you know like a dance kind of thing so that's me and my wife yeah i used to be a lot skinnier <laughs> old age gets to me and, it, and this is probably i would say and my wife has always stayed thin and beautiful like she is here in this picture um this is probably six seven years ago maybe but yeah there's that uh there's my dad's flag my dad was in air, air in the air force and that's his flag from when he passed um, of course, you guys know Wolverine is my favorite character, so I got a couple banks. One with the mask, one without. There's my Ghost Rider, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, um, Marvel Legends. And there's my Thanos. Uh, back here are all my Wolverine Marvel Legends. I collect just, just basically just the Wolverine and my Hulk 181s. I got two of them. Ooh. As you can see, I got one raw. And one graded, 6.0. Um, it's missing the Marvel stamp in that one. And this one here is a raw one, as you can see. I have two. And this one here, I won off that Spider-Man booth out of their mystery box. Uh, I've won. I've won this one, and I won uh, New Mutants 98 and 9.8 CGC uh, graded out of one of their boxes. And down here are just some Marvel essentials. Those are basically my X-Men. And my World of Warcraft uh, Collector's Editions, the first three games I have the Collector's Editions. Um, I haven't played in years, but... Then over here, we got Friday the 13th, Cabin in the Fever, some more signed prints, my Darth Vader. Um, the 18-inch Wingspan um, TIE Fighter, I have that, I love that. Um, found that on eBay. I was a I was big into action figures, especially Star Wars and GI Joe. But as you can see, my I had to pick. You know, and it's as collectors, it's tough to have multiple hobbies. But I had to pick one or the other. So, unfortunately, for my toys and my action figures, I got rid of some, but I still have a lot. Um, I, I I chose comics, and and this is my journey. Over here, don't excuse this mess down here, garbage can and my vacuum. But there's an original crow, crow poster. Love the crow, great movie. And then me and my wife go to Hallow Scream every year. And, and uh, they used to give out maps, they don't anymore. So I used to put the maps and our tickets in like a little top loader type thing. 
And uh, as you can see, here's more of the the cards, and they're just they're, they're great. You know what I mean? They're they. And you can see here I've crossed stuff out. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, more comics that I need bags and boards for. I'm so far behind on that. I have a whole long box of comics without a bag and board, and I got stacks everywhere of those. Uh, just I'm 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 completely running out of room, guys. I mean it's crazy. Uh, these here are magazine boxes. This here has just regular comics. I think I got these from Tampa Comic Con, and I just put them in this box. Um, so there's that. Another Wolverine type. And more more uh, boxes here of comics. Comics stacked everywhere. Painter's tape. Uh, marker. As you can see, I got some on my hand here. Um, just random books, guys. Just random, random books. And I love it. Okay, now here, oh, this section over here is a mess. Not it's, it's It looks organized, but it's a mess. This here, all these long boxes, all these comics stacked up here are all from the flea market over the past year. Um, they've all been scanned in my app, but they are not at all separated or organized at all. And they all have to be... I mean, it's, they all have to be in video, in, in, you know, for me to make videos for. And right now, I'm just, I just don't feel good. And so making comic book videos right now is just not something I really want to do. Um, but I do go on vacation next week, so stay tuned for more. I know I say that all the time, but really stay tuned. But these are all comics that need to be made videos for. And this is all stuff that I've gotten from the flea market. Um... The one vendor that I had, he, you know, he was, you know, the, the prices have gone up, and I understand. But I used to get a long box for 80 and then it was 100 Now it's like 120 for a long box, which is still a great price. <coughs> but all this needs to be, that's why I'm saying those boxes over there with the X-Men, or the X-Men and the fucking Avengers, they're all going to have to be redone. And that is going to take a job and a half. And so, I mean, just imagine, there's what... Each one holds 250, 200, you know, maybe 270, and there's like, I don't know, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, I mean, there's like, there's like 30 long boxes of comics that I have to go through. And then all this stuff down here, all these comics, guys, this is, this is, if you wanted to know what 43,000 comics look like, this is it. Um, here's just some statues, I got this statue here from Hello Scream one year, Zombie you know, I got that from, uh, I can't remember which island I got that from. We went on a cruise, and I got that little devil guy. I thought that was cool. Of course, Negan Bank. And down here are just random, like, trade paperbacks, um, action figures, my Dungeons and Dragons books. Uh, just random stuff. Like I said, just comics everywhere. 43,431, I believe, is what the final count is. Um, my blackout curtains, and here's a closer look of all my, all my original art that I've gotten from YouTubers over the years, including, um, Jason over from Heroes the Icon, um, Journo from Journo's Comics, uh, just everybody, man. Love my original art. Tony, why not art? All this, this whole bottom row is from him. Um, they took down his YouTube channel, and I haven't seen him on IG in a while, so I don't know. Tony, I hope you're all right if you see this. But just love my original art. This whole wall is covered in it. Of course, Wolverine, Sabretooth. There's Miss Haley. She's passed. Um, so Journos Comics did a, you know, a, he did a sketch of our, mine and Jessica's favorite picture of, of Haley, and he did a sketch for us. Just beautiful art. Thanks, Journo, man. Just an amazing artist, man. Just so awesome. Um, Jessica collects belt buckles from each state. She's got a bunch more in a box, but I put a bunch up here just to kind of give her, like, so I could feel her in this room. I, I love my wife very much. She's my soulmate, and uh, I just couldn't imagine my life without her in it. So I wanted a part of her in this room. So these are belt buckles that she um, she collected from you know, each one is like a license plate from a state. 
And she does collect license plates from states, too. So she's got a big big box full of them. Um, so it's kind of cool. But that's, that's that. And then in here is my closet. These are all living dead dolls. Um, and there's a her. She played softball when she was younger. So that far trophy on the right is hers. And I played soccer. And that's mine. So she had a lot more trophies than I did. I had a few. I only kept one. And she only kept one. But she had boxes and boxes of like, and she's a, a black belt in karate, so she had trophies from that, and uh, she decided to keep this one. That one with special door, they won state championships or something, and that's that's her trophy. Um, but I did collect Living Dead dolls at one time, and those are four deep each row, and I have a ton of those. Uh, more comics. Uh, one long box is um, my Conan run, and the other one is my uh, Witching Hour run. And some miscellaneous horror books. So those are in here. All these books here need boxes. I mean, it's just crazy, guys, how much comics I have. Um, more comics. More art. Up here are just random books. Um, these here are my CGC boxes. And my Golden Age box. More action figures. And this thing is deep. And, I mean, there's comics everywhere, guys. I have comics everywhere. As you can see, some Sergeant Rocks, Journey into Mysteries, I mean, Spider-Man, ROM. Um, some comics that, it's weird, like, and it's nice finding comics in Mylar bags at the flea market. So I always buy them when I can. Um, but this is just some of the books, man. There's so much stuff. Sergeant Rock, Future's In, I found Alpha Flight. I got that for half price, so... I already have a couple of these, but my, my combo guy had 10. He usually sells it to me half price, so like 5. I got that for like 5. Um, another Witching Hour I got for 5. But I've filled in so many runs, and I find so many minor keys. It's just, it's great, man. I love the flea market. You guys know that. You see, you see what I do. Um, I try to go every weekend. Um... I used to go on Fridays, but now I work on Fridays, so that's hard. But I love going when I can go and just finding comics, man. I love comics. It's my passion. Um, but, yeah, these are just, you know, these are, I mean, some great, there's some great books in here, guys. I mean, I've found some really good stuff. So, i completed a lot of runs. Um, Flash is almost complete. Um... I find Hulk books. I completed my Jennifer Jennifer Blood run. I mean, I find all kinds of stuff. Spider-Man, Impulse, just great, great, great comics. World War Hulk. I mean, just great stuff. But this is all needs to be videoed and organized. So, oh, wish me luck, guys. But, yeah, this is the room, guys. I, you know, Journos comics, I saw his video, and it kind of inspired me to do one, too. Um, but here's an overlook of all the books. So, don't be misled. I am not a dealer. I don't buy collections. Um, every one of these books, I've bought one by one, or, you know you know what I mean, like, I've bought at the flea market, or a comic store, or, or uh, at uh, uh, comic cons. I've never bought... I've never in my entire life bought a collection off anybody. Um, all these have been handpicked and bought singly by me. So I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that have big collections, but they've bought massive collections from people. Um, these are all single-handedly bought by me. I did all the hunting. I did all the digging for all these books. Now a lot of these, you know, some of these were gifted to me from other YouTubers. That's, you know, I'm, I'm not saying all of them I hunted, but you know, I've been gifted stuff. Um, but yeah, other than being gifted books from other YouTubers, all these have been bought by me. Um, the junkie on the hunt. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I wanted to make a, you know, a little bit longer in-depth video. If there's something in my collection you really want to see. Let me know. Um, I will try to dig it out and show you guys. Um, I have complete runs of like Ghost Rider, the Western Ghost Rider, the, the 70s Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze. I am working on the uh, Volume 2 
Ghost Rider. Um, I'd really like to complete that this year. But I have compl you know completed volumes of Wolverine, Uncanny X Men, Volume One. I'm I'm complete from ninety eight to five. What is it? Five seventy something. Um, I'm complete on that. I'm working on the the Silver Age part. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, like I said, these are all bought by me. All single-handedly bought by me, hunted for all of these books. That's why they have a special place in my heart, and it's hard to sell them. But if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Hopefully my videos show up in feeds. It's a junkie, and I'm out. Peace.